All right, guys. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. So I've been go through good afternoon. submissions already. Uh, previously, right, some of you guys from Group Four actually have submitted the works good directly, but I'm still waiting for the rest of you guys to work on that. This kind of presentations without a sample of works, I don't know how actually I'm going to evaluate them directly. So Catherine there, okay. Please write text notes on this one. Because your presentations without any visuals, any kind of works there, right? Okay. I don't know whether I can actually evaluate those works there because this is not a talent division, so okay. I didn't actually want to see basically only your face, all right? But it's a part of the criteria of the evaluations that okay, on the presentations. But if we don't show the works that you sell, okay, it's hardly we can actually evaluate your kind of what we call that submissions from here, all right? All right, Catherine is here. Catherine? No? Bunfeng? Yes, I'm here. Sugi? Yes. Uh, Liang yes. Zimin? We withdraw, sir. Wayne Han? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Wayne yes. Han? Moon Hei? Moon Hei, see Moon Hei? Matthew, see Matthew? Yes. Ijai. All right. Uh, Jin Bao? Uh, yes. Yes, Jin yes. Bao. All right, Moon Hei, see Moon Hei? Chin Wen? Yes. Yes, Kelly? sir. All right. Tom yes, Anne? sir. All right. Yes, Jin sir. Yi? All right. Jalil? Yes, sir. All right. Paymin? Yes, sir. Wan Jun? Paymin, all right. Wan Jun? And Wan Ching. All right. So I guess this is the rest of this is the, the one that will show up today, right? Okay. Oh. Hello, sir. Yes. Uh Wan Jun and Wan Ching is here. Wan Ching is here. Right. Uh Thank you, sir. All right, welcome to the writing. So I actually have been uh, look at most of the works from Group Four the writing because you guys basically the one that we have submit earlier the writing for for today. But the two Group Three, right? Most of them haven't submitted yet. Good afternoon, sir. I am the Marjorie from BML Group 4. Today I want to talk about um the other week that week eight night wasn't with me right now, so I may have to see. Um, this one um oh week eight you just speak about guest last line on the this why so you need to be in the middle but we must be okay and some we learn about the master study about the master. I think it's not clear. I, I draw a few deaths in Moscow and then I learned a few 
specialized at a really different posture that I never drawn before. So I found all these really, really hard gestures and continue to look, look nice and be hard. And I use a few to learn how to draw and this one of my drawings. This is one of my drawings. This is coconut tree. I use it for practice and also this building and this stone. And then continue, this will be my box that I was going to use for my story book. This is trash and this can and then this is some paper, little plastic, uh, all that. So, then continue. Continue will be like um sea sea coral all that sea sea, sea coral fish and um all that plant sea plant sea mushroom and then this is a research for my my struggle that I was going to draw to make and then this one is the sea the sky, the tulip, the coral, and then some interesting coral I use it for research and in the end I'll choose only few of it to use and draw in my story book. I so that's all for my props and the practice props. And continue with my thumbnail. My thumbnail, my thumbnail will be this. So, thumbnail, 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 thumbnail. The tool. This photo is based on Tintin, but I evolve it. I make it better, uh, better than Tintin. Tintin will be the character before that I use. Tintin. This is Tintin. So I develop it, make it better, um, different, little different from this one. So, so. So this is the story about the turtle accidentally ate a plastic. The people trying to dispose all the trash into the system there's no place to it, so they dispose into some kind of illegal disposal trash see. And then I do this. The the point of me doing this is to like make awareness that the story more moral of this is to throw rubbish into the sea, um, help save the creatures, and if they won't eat, just to like into the sea, basket the a story about the turtle eat some the sea so they won't die, or the the sea won't be polluted. The because they are like, living in the in living with those cats. They, they try to be full of, full of trash into the sea. And that the girl would that was the children this I uh, this is all my reference. I look at all of this and then I I after take, doing all this research, I I started making and then I make it in the the the, the scenery of the trash coming down uh, up from outward to downward from the sea and then continue will be the the sea the first you see uh, and then woke up he woke up and then he say hi to his friend fish friend. And then continue to suddenly hungry. He wanted to find something to eat. So suddenly the dispersion boat 
came in and then throw everything down the scene. Then, oh, uh, it was saw by Tintin. This green thing is the, 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 the liquid of the garbage, or the energy, the tissue, or that. All garbage was disposed into the sea, and then the sea was polluted. But for Tintin, he didn't know that it wasn't a seaweed, it was um, a disclosure trash bit by humans and throw into the sea. So he thought it was food, so he ate one. He choked. And then he choked. He choked until he can't breath. He started fainting. And then her skin becomes, her, her view becomes blurry and can see some of the trash, trash fall down from the sky. And then at the end, he choked until he can't breathe and then he died under the deep sea with all this rubbish near him. And then the moral of the story is we shouldn't throw any rubbish into the sea since there are creatures, innocent creatures, they, they are not like us, you know that 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 is trash, they will just eat all the what they see. They thought it was food and then most of them die a lot of lower rate of product produced and then see certain in nowadays are getting lesser and lesser we can't see it anymore. And that is all of my story. Thank you, teacher. Right, that's the one of the sample of uh one June right okay, kind of presentations, all right. That based on some of the work from the weekly exercise and also your final kind of presentation of the final assignments works there right okay and the process of working on that so for Catherine okay when i actually saw your presentations there's no visuals record back again okay otherwise i won't be able to give the marks from here all right so Catherine is not here, right? So please send a message to Catherine. Right? Ask her to record back again those videos. Otherwise, I won't be able to... evaluate based on that kind of presentation. So, a very good morning, sir. Today I'm going to present my final assignment, the illustration story. So, they play together and become friends. So, they become a very good friend. They always together to go to school. Or playing basketball, go home together, and all that. But one day, son said that his grandmother was sick, so he needs to go home, go to go back to his hometown, and he cannot stay in the. Yeah. After that, Jake was very sad that. John was not here because he needs to go back to his hometown and all that to take care of his sick grandmother. So, Jake was very lonely because he cannot, he don't have more other friends and John was not here because of his grandmother sick and he goes to school by himself every day. And when he goes to the basketball court, he didn't play the basketball because he feel lonely playing myself after he met Sean and that. So last, the Sean come back 
at day when they caused by the basketball court, he hear Sean shout for him for playing the basketball. So this is my story. And now I'm going to explain that how I do my artwork is I'm using the uh, Lazo tool. Most of the time it's la Lazo tool to make it and paintbrush to brush some uh, the sky and the ground and all that. So the color that I apply is I adjust myself. And so mostly using the lasso tools to paint all the artwork here. And now I'm going to say some of the exercise. Um, so all of the exercise of here I've said. And what I learned is um, all the shading skill and the line stroke, you must have a very good of line stroke and the gesture line for the basic structure mm -hmm. to get the final upward. So everything, when he becomes a fun upward, he has his gesture line or structure line that can get all this kind of the fine upward. So for me, um, it's quite difficult to draw it on a book because still not smooth with my hand and all that. And I now only understand some of the work that the gesture line, how it's, it's supposed to be, or the position, how it's gonna be like. So, this is so in the 14, all the 14 weeks, I have learned a bit with, with you, Mr. Faiza, and I hope I will practice more in the semester break and learn more about the painting and the line shot on YouTube so for the next semester I can be a better on my assignment and this is all my effort in the 14 weeks um, so uh, thank you very much for teaching us about the illustration and all the knowledge. Sometimes it's still difficult for me to understand, but at least still understand the basic that what Sir wants us to do. So hopefully next semester I can improve more and doing a better assignment. And this is the environment environment for my uh, assignment too. The story inside the story, and this is the thumbnail storyboard. So this is um, what I learned in introduction to illustration. Actually, it's quite interesting in everything, but because of my skill is very poor, so sometimes I feel boring and I couldn't get what I want in the result. Makes me feel stressed and all that. So hopefully, sir also can understand us that because I cannot draw well, and all that. So thank you very much for everything and thank you for your time for teaching us in the lecture class and the practical class with very patient. So thank you for everything.
and thank you very much and have a nice day. All right, this is the first start, right? Okay, this is only the beginning, right? Okay. So of course, okay, when we actually look at most of your friends' kind of presentations, kind of works, okay, it's a early stage there. It's an early stage there. It's right, okay. You you need more time there to develop your skill. At the same time, you have to review, do some revisions, practice a lot every day there, okay, in order to develop your skills. Illustration is not actually the thing that you guys can learn over time. You can learn from eight hours there. You can learn around two or three days there okay, of sessions there. You have to keep on developing yourself from time to time. All right. So if you take a look at this behind there, right, okay, even though I don't know what happens here. All right. So there's a lot of different kind of quality of works of illustration that you guys can go through and in, and take a look at how actually the people actually execute the ideas itself there, right? Okay. So I believe that you, if you guys actually develop a lot of research by looking a lot of other people's works, right? You will actually get some ideas how actually you're going to design your own works in the future. There, all right? Those are the things that really important for us to to develop by understanding by looking to other people's works there, and also. When you look at those people's works, you have to improve and develop also your own kind of way of working on it. Okay. Otherwise, if you don't practice yourself, you won't be able to get it right. Okay. If you take a look at that presentation, it's a part of the multimedia kind of works. Animations, illustrations combined together with the character design and elements and drawing skills, right? And using the tool itself, the right, okay, to work with that kind of one particular kind of project, right? Okay? Those are the future kind of works that you might going to be experienced, even though it's not the same, but the animation itself, the right, okay? So don't put yourself in the very comfort position at the moment. You have to redraw and you have to develop your skill from there. Okay? Don't get too comfortable still, right? Okay? With your kind of presentation that you have right now. All right. This is some of the work from Xiao Ting there. All right? Xiao Ting from groups. I think group seven or group six there, right? <coughs>
lead me climax and then the last is uh, ending so this is my story coming this is the PC with me and the and the family the parents and to this PC next week was week 11 I was learning about how to use the simple storyline and I enjoyed a 12 illustration book. And then the, this is my simple storyline structure. And then the story title is KC. The term I want to express is Don't Make Parents Feel Sorry. And then the setting is KC House and the neighbor's home. And the neighbor's house. And then the characters have KC, BB, and their parents. And then the story outline introduction is one day KC went to neighbor's home when BB plans play and sit with KC. Story structure is easy. And then the plot development is if he wants to try hide and seek with Casey. And then if he starts counting numbers, he let the PGC find the hiding place. And then Casey is eating go to neighbor's home. And then if he cannot find Casey at home, if he tells his parents, that she cannot find Casey at home. The climax is that their parents are shocked when they know Casey heaven at home. They quickly, quickly go to find Casey. And then the conclusion is mother find Casey at neighbor's home. Casey apologizes and promises she will not do it again. And then this is my illustration, the 12th illustration. I have tried to color it and make it look more interesting. And then week 12 until week 14, I was draw the 12th illustration. And then this is Phoebe and Casey at the living room. And then this is the family. And then this is the living room. This is uh, at the bedroom. TV is counting the numbers in that thing to see find the hiding place. And then week 13, this is TV sitting down to a little home. And then this is Phoebe uh, cannot find Casey at home. Their parents are shocked. And then they are quickly going to find Casey. Mother saw Casey at the neighbor's home. And then the Casey apologized and promised that she will not do it again. So my uh, experience. Week 8 until week 14 of the presentation video is finished. Right, that's one of the submissions from our friend Suki in group 6. So let's we take a look on the Kelly itself directly. Good morning, Mr. Faiza. Uh, my name is Tan Kelly from BML Group 4. Uh, so now I'm going to present about my final project, the assignment tree, the picture book illustration. So, uh, first of all, I now, now start it. So, uh, 
because I like you have you know, give us four, four weeks to prepare our final assignment. It is like in week, it, week 11, week 12, week 13, and week 14. So four weeks of this, and I gonna, and now I'm going to show my process about each week, what I do. Uh, so in, in week 11, I draw a, a story box about the, about my story. Uh, this is about the story for of a story about his of her daily life. And then uh, I write this story as a single and good and visual story. So they don't have something like type type thing. So next uh we can we, we, in this story we can find out how the fairy life is and um look at the story we can also know about how the flower gonna bloom uh, with with uh, helping with the fairy magic. Okay, so go next to the big cell. Big cell I started to draw the line line draft for it it story because I I create it's the egg is sorry what they got egg and we go into the next page they got four of it. So as I say just now uh, I drawing the line line block based on the sketch in six eleven and I in this line draft I do it and doing more with it for its picture. For example like the pattern in the tree trunk and the, the flower are blooming. The flower the pattern of the flower like the brush are on a not too much red. Um, and also, um, I also adding some lines to show the character movement. The line that the fairy blow the magic to the flower, and the line movement for the portal. Very much, and the the wing flapping away to fly to the portal. And then they gonna have to die. The fairy uh want to show out his wings like look like that. They go to the next one. Um uh, they go to the next one. Um uh, in they go to the next one. Um uh, in progress. Thirteen in progress thirteen. Uh, week thirteen, I start to paint up with the color. I start to paint up with the color for each um for for each part of a character. Every part of it, I also have to like. And also, I adding some shadow, some light of the hair like this, for make it the character to become more real. And and also, I have create use the color to create some effect, like the, the, the light in the in the pink pink light when the fairy try to show out his wings. And when the fairy is flying, the things go move so faster, so I make it to blur, blur. And like the movement of the portal, and, and, uh, and the movement of the portal, and the flower are blooming. 
then you become more eligible than you. So and from the story book in and tiny shiny the fairy become like shiny shiny the wing of the fairy become like shiny shiny fairy become like shiny shiny so we'll go to the next one um, in week 14 uh the time we gonna submit our picture book Okay, remember guys, okay, one thing, okay, when you design the titles, make sure the titles will be emphasized more, right? The title had to be emphasized more because right now we cannot actually, even though she's trying to do a bit more creative kind of side of designing the typeface, designing the titles there, right? But the words and also the titles doesn't actually quite understandable there, okay? It's look like a fairy, not a fairy there, okay? So remember, okay, when we design the titles, we have to sketch a few ideas also at the same time. Whatever that you guys have been working on later on, okay, in the future, when you sketch it out, your ideas, one single item sketch more than 10 different kind of ideas there. Understand what I mean there, right? So right now, basically, when you guys doing those kind of developments kind of works, right, you develop your sketches, you just only one or two developing kind of design there, okay? If you take a look at how actually I developed my ideas there, some of the sample that I show you guys, I did a few number of sketches before I finalized them. That's basically the right kind of way to improve your design there, right? So this is the thing that you guys have to take serious there. In the future, you might going to face this kind of challenges there from other subjects. You didn't mind it, right? Because in the process of developing ideas, you have to go through at least 10 different kind of design or sketches or developments or ideas before you want to finalize them, before you want to choose the one that you're going to use for your final design. Remember that kind of words there, right? Okay, that kind of what we call that suggestions. All right, that's a normal thing. Normal thing happens, okay? The normal process that when we actually develop the ideas there, right? But is it only beginning there? So there's a lot of room. There's a lot of room for you guys need to improve. All right. But is a good start from here. Um. So and also I I have I. The third week. Okay. So so the 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 picture the artwork I do I do. Um, this is a project what I designed the fairy. So this is the movement. So I do some changes of the fairy, like the, the, the hair is, I put like this, is too co common to see. So I make it to like the, 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 the fairy like, have some curly in in his like, still like yeah the curly hair in the curly hair so it's be like more cute and more very in that in that so this hat yeah. For me, directly, yeah. some of the sketches that she did as it was quite okay, directly, but it's not enough kind of development that she's going through from there, okay, that, that can show more on his her potential on her work there. It's not what she did, it's not you see, okay. When I look at her sketches, I don't know whether she's traced from other people's works or not, okay, but the drawing that she produced for me is quite good. Okay, but the way that people execute after their sketch, uh, that's the different kind of level that everyone needs to improve, all right? But the first thing that you have to improve 
in the stage of developing your ideas, especially in illustration, is your sketches. For me, this is one of the good few sketches that I saw from the presentation for today. But when it comes, you execute to your real works, that's another story there. Very big flower. So yes, I can see a lot of good sketches from her developments, right? But hopefully you can actually improve more later on for your presentations, right? For other subjects or maybe different kind of subjects. A grip has, and this is the indoor seat, like a uh, occlusion. Uh, all this semester, um, thank you very much, Mr. Faiza, for teaching us so much. Um, so this is the first time I use this, uh, the tablet to draw in the draw with the computer. This is the first time I use it all in drawing the paper. And then um, what you what I have learned in this lesson is uh, first of all I learned how to draw with tablet and draw with Photoshop. And Mr. Faiza, you also teach us to control our line to not like it's just like so we need to be tidy our line it need to be straight and tidy and our and our shadow skill our um how to our how our how to control the feel of uh, the the feel when our do when we doing the shadow part and Mr. Saga, you also teach us the, um, the, the gesture line drawing. Uh, this must be helpful for us because gesture line drawing I never learned before. This is help us, help us to make a good improvement in these courses. So thank you very much, Mr. Saga, for this step. All right, so here they right. Have you completed your works here? Okay. Hmm? Have you submitted your work there? So worry about your works. All right. So worry about your work first rather than no rather than those attendance. Okay? Okay. Uh, don't worry about those attendance yet. Worry about your works there, right? Okay? Those are the things that you should worry. Everyone should worry this. So guys, okay, you guys can see how actually your friend have been having posted the presentation. Okay? I hope you guys can do better than that. Okay, I hope you guys can do better than that. So those are the first thing that you have to remember that is one of the reasons I show you guys this presentations for today because I want to make sure that you guys can do it. the one which you haven't submit the works make sure you do more better than your friend all right okay on your presentations on showing your kind of works there right okay those are the things there all right I already what we call the go through with Boon Feng kind of works just now directly for, for other groups there. So I won't actually write here, uh, what we call that show again there, right? But some of the work that I actually have been what we call that go through, all right? You guys can see from the group two presentations there. One of the good presentations that I saw from 
from all the session that we have in three sessions today is from Wang Jin, right? Okay, Wang Jin there, right? Okay, so you guys can go through with that later on. Hi, Mr. Faiza. My name is Lee Chen Han from DML Group Section and other exercise. First, uh, I show my assignment to some script for the book. The color as the fighter, black and gear and demon, the character induction, the deck and the test to have show the restaurant and this inside of the restaurant is more people and the liberty. So the joint response has many people. Five S5 has the jack it has sleeping and Tesla has the demon army and seven jack put the cooker in the stool. Change and go to change. 
second is if you do that thing, you will be punished. And I want to help other my exercise. Uh, this is my exercise, exercise one. my story thank you very much Mr. Fight and the chat and more good my on my how to make it So that's also one of the presentations that we have from your friend from group two just now, but basically most of them are okay, okay. Some of them were submitted late there, right? So I already what we call that look at Matthew kind of work just now directly. Presentation itself there. So you guys I say actually can learn a lot from most of the presentation for today directly. Because within these three days, I have more works going to become the writing. And I was hopefully by the end of Saturday, the writing, because I have another three groups there to submit. All these three groups from group five, six, seven, I'm going to submit at that day, the writing. I won't delay my kind of evaluations because next week, Earlier on Monday, I have to submit the works there. Right? I have submit all those marks there. Right? So one, the one who actually late, I'm sorry, I won't be able to entertain you guys. And the next is the kind of Java. Thank 
nourish and try to her and the spirit. So the next is this is the character. He smile again and this is fragment design that I create it to a exercise picture and the right hand side is the artwork that I done. This artwork is hard to me because at the beginning I, I can't apply the light and shadow and I keep on redo and redo. So finally I finished the artwork you can see on the cave thing. So it to use it in the X and redo easy to read that I done. So I, I think it's good as my first time to do. I think it's a little hard about the idea that I want to present or what should I develop on my story. From the picture comes from the picture, and the right hand side is the output that I done. The third one also, you can see it's, it's not perfect, the mouth, the size of the mouth, but it's nice to me. And so I, I think it's good. I did try my best. So this assignment to create a storybook is also my first time to do. I think it's a little hard about the idea that I want to present or what should I develop on my story. But I really try my best to create my own storybook now. So thank you to my lecture. And thank you to my lecture who teach us the knowledge and the skill of the drawing, the drawing line. So thank you. Listening my presentation, that's all. So, the folder I'm going to do by the lecture is the picture. You can see the beautiful. So, suddenly a jet monster appears in front of them. So, the blue was the green. So, they go to the jungle. I think one of the reasons why Tai Chun actually doesn't actually talk much about his final assignment work because I think that he, he also doesn't like to see his works there. Right, those are the things I find that actually maybe, right? But it's a life lesson kind of learning, right? Because I can see the whole different kind of perspective, directly right? And also, skill that he actually produced from two or three different kind of exercise and also Simon's kind of work there right? okay. so it's a bit it's a process of learning right now right? it doesn't mean that you doing good in in your exercise that I actually will look into more details later on okay for every single week there right? okay there will be cover a lot for your assignments there but exercise will help you to gain a little more marks on that right okay? those are the things that you have to remember there right okay but the assignments also every single assignment is important there, okay? to show basically your improvement on the skill itself from what i actually have seen for these sessions i think kelly actually did a very good job in terms of developing his kind of skill her kind of skills there right <coughs> But maybe the executions can improve a bit more from there. Right. Even though when I saw Kaichun kind of works, okay, exercise quite okay for these presentations, but I haven't seen the details there. But everyone has their own kind of weakness that can be improved along the way. That's the thing that I find from here there, okay? So don't get too comfortable with your works here. Always, always push yourself further from here. Okay, guys? Okay, so
So any questions so far? Any question guys? So present your videos according to uh, so yeah the proper kind of way, okay? Yes, I mean. Uh so last day is the Saturday, right? Yeah, for your group is today. Uh, today. Yeah, I don't want to wait there, right? Oh, okay. Okay, for your group actually today, okay. Every single sessions for each groups are going to be the 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 submissions day there, right? Okay. Except group one because i have to delay because we we have the holiday yesterday they're right public holiday so i have to give those chances to submit tomorrow afternoon saturday are going to be group five six seven all right so you guys have been given a lot of time there okay so you should submit according to the time that we have been given i never say you're going to submit on Sunday. I never say that you have to submit on Saturday. Each group will submit according to the session that we have. You should remember that because I already stated in my kind of what we call that explanations before. Okay, so that's why I've been wondering why actually people delay the work there. So, do you have any submissions this week other than my subject? Uh, my, I'm asking a question here right uh, now. Do you have things other than my subjects for this week? Do you guys have any submission for this week other than my subjects? No. No. Hmm? No. No, right. So that means I'm the only subjects that left the right. Yes, Bung Feng. So, uh, my story can, uh, can submit. Uh. Why? You want to change her? Uh? You want to change her? Uh? No, no, no. <laughs> because uh, my present not very mm. well, uh, so I unsubmit. <laughs> Because whatever that you guys been done, if you know that it's not doing well, you have to work a little bit more better right, for the for the subjects there, right? So prepare it well there, right? Okay. Because you guys actually yes, actually is a big group. Lucky basically it's lucky for you guys have an online sessions. If you guys doesn't have any online session, if you have the physical sessions, so okay. If you don't actually complete the works on times on that day, there are going to be a lot of issues and challenges later on. Normally. Luckily, you guys can submit online. But problem is people take advantage on online sessions. All right. That's basically the worst part that I actually felt. Even though for me, online sessions give more advantage for me to get do with you guys to share with you guys a lot of things that you guys should learn. But the problem is the student take advantage from that online sessions to submit more late there, right? Delay the work there, right? Those are the things that I quite find quite not quite properly done there. Okay? So thank you very much guys okay for having today all right so submit the works by today there okay and also complete all the presentation as well if you want to take a look at some of the presentations the good presentations kind of works you get to check the youtube channels there one of the presentations i've actually prepared well is is from this wing jun there okay kind of mistaken group one there right so check back again. All right, thank you very much, guys. All right, have a have a good luck on your works. Don't delay your works, and also please send message to those who actually don't sub 
submit and complete the work there, please inform me when you submit your works. Don't just submit your work in Google Classrooms and you assume that I know basically you have submitted them. Because when I actually look back again to your works, when I give the marks, okay, if your work is not there, I assume that you not submit your works there or you submit late there. Right? When you submit late, simple there, right? I will cut 30% of your marks, that's all. Because you submit late, that's all there, right? Okay, that's what that's that's basically that I can actually share with you guys. Because I already told you guys before. Okay, like Kelly actually uh, told us, right? Okay, four weeks there, right? Okay, more than a month for this one single illustration works there, right? Okay? One single assignment there. When you actually, when you saw the way that you produce your works there, right? Okay, you can do it basically in three days. Three days only there. But you need four weeks to complete, but still doesn't meet the requirement there, right? That's basically your problem. 